In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your character or model's clothing into any outfit you want. It even works with your own custom-made designs, and the results are really impressive. Okay, let's get into it. Let's jump straight onto the website. This kind of tool has been around for a while, but I'm sure I will show you some new ways on how to use it in this video. So this tool is running off Hugging Space, and I'll leave a link to it down below. It's very easy to use. All you have to do is drop a image into here, and then the clothing image into here. So let's try one of the example images that they provide here. So I'll try this lady, and let's try her in this blue dress. So here you have some options, which is the auto-generated mask. So what this does, it will look at the image and it will notice that there is a t-shirt there, so it will mask that out, and then it will replace this image into where that mask is. You can choose to do your own mask, which we'll get into shortly. And here you can use auto crop and resizing. So I'll just click yes for that. And here you can put the description of the clothing item, but I'll just leave that blank for now. And all you have to do is click try on, and it shouldn't take too long to generate it. And it's done an incredible job. So this image here shows the mask that the tool had generated. So it chose to actually mask out all of her arms as well. Um, and then this image shows what it looks like with this clothing item on her. And it's done an incredible job at making it look like it's actually fitted on her and not just copy and pasted. As you can see, it's generated some shadow on the skin here and where the shorts are, and it just looks really natural. So you can download your image from here, and I just want to try another one. So let's see what it looks like with the CEO of NVIDIA, and I'll see what he looks like with this red shirt on. Alright, so it's come back, and it's just masked his whole upper body here. Now this one is interesting because he's in a sitting down pose. So he's got his arms kind of crossed over his body, and I feel like it could be difficult for the AI to realize where his arm is in front of his body. But the resulting image isn't too bad. Now it's kind of enlarged parts of his body, but um, yeah, I'm generally pretty impressed with how it's come out. Especially as the source image is a really tough one to kind of mask an image into. Now if you're looking for images of models to use, you can find them on websites with free royalty stock images like this one. So this website is unsplash.com, and I just wrote in model to the search bar. And then click on free license here. And you can scroll through and probably find some good images. So I like this one, so I downloaded that one. So just have a look and download images that you want to try different clothing on. Or another option is to use an AI image generator website. So here I'm using Midjourney, and I wrote in clothing photo shoot. And as you can see, you can generate any image you want to fit the kind of criteria that you're looking for. The possibilities are endless with AI image generators to create your models or character. So I'm going to test out one of the models that I downloaded with an item of clothing. So I've got this image here, and I'll try this black t-shirt. And now I'll try to mask it myself. So if you just click here, you can choose the size of the brush here and you can change the color. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure you get everywhere where you want the t-shirt to be generated. And I'll click off Auto Generate Mask, and I'll leave that blank as well. And there you go, it's done a really good job at getting that design onto this model. It's even done a really good job at getting the text on there. As sometimes it can be a bit funky, but this just shows that you can put your own designs on the t-shirt, and it should come across in the end result. Now you can also do trousers, so you just do the same, just mask out the trousers, and I'll see if I can get these blue jeans onto the model. And it's done a great job at putting the model in jeans. So that's how you can change trousers on your character as well. Now let's try it with getting creative. Let's say you want a specific design on your character. You can use generative fill features on software like Photoshop or Midjourney, and you can type in what you want in that area. But sometimes the results don't come out as you planned. So this tool helps if you've got a specific design and you want it on your character. So I created this armor in Midjourney, and I really like the design, and I want to put it onto my character. So let's see what it looks like on different models. 
I've actually created different versions of armor, one that looks a bit more realistic, and one with a more 2D cartoon style. And by mixing the 2D style with realistic looking images, you can get some really cool results. So I downloaded this model from that Unsplash stock image website, and I'll upload the image of the armor. So let's see how well this cartoon armor goes with this realistic image. And the results look incredible. It's kept that 2D cartoon style while making it look pretty realistic actually. It's got realistic shadowing on the skin, and it's kept the kind of solid colors and the bold outlines of the cartoon armor. That is just incredible. And here's another image of some armor that I wanted to put on someone. And here's what this model looks like wearing it. It looks incredible. It's kept the same design, and it's managed to fit it on the model perfectly. And again, here she is wearing the top and the chain trousers. And I couldn't stop with the armor, so here is Taylor Swift wearing some chainmail as well. It's done a really good job as you can see the background through the gaps in the chainmail, which is an impressive touch. Now you could try to cut and paste this armor onto the model and try to kind of move it around so it looks like it's fitting them, but you wouldn't get the awesome results that we're getting from this tool, as this tool shapes the clothing to fit the model that you're using. And you can use it for your storytelling purposes. Let's say you have a character or a model and you want to put them in a specific outfit. I want to create this man into a knight and I've created the specific armor that I want to put on him. So I've uploaded the armor and the image of the man and let's see what it does. And it's done a really good job. There is a part on the arm that doesn't look quite right, but other than that, it's kept the design pretty much the same. I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out on the first go. This is incredibly powerful if you've got your own design and want it to go onto the character seamlessly. Now let's have a look at changing the outfits on cartoon or animated characters. So I'll try a more Pixar style looking character and a 2D cartoon style character. So I've got this pretty simple 2D image of this boy here and I'll try the image of the armor again. Okay, and as you can see, with the auto-generated mask, it can run into some problems sometimes. For some reason, it decided to mask out parts of his head as well, and as you can see, it's changed the resulting image, which isn't what I wanted. Now, this is an easy fix, as I can just put my own mask on the character, and it should fix it. So, this is what it looks like with my own mask, and it's done an incredible job at putting that armor onto the character. And here's what he looks like with some trousers as well to go with it. Not too bad. Now let's have a look at a character that I created in a CGI Pixar style. I wanted to tell a story with the clothes that he's wearing. So I wrote down a few different ideas of different outfits I want this character to wear. So for his first outfit, I'm going to stick with the armored knight theme for this one. So I generated an image of him holding a sword and I generated some armor separately that I want to put him in. I've created my own mask on the character and I've enlarged the mask over his shoulders, so hopefully it will be enough space to accommodate with these shoulder kind of pads on the armor. And it worked perfectly. As you can see, it's added in those big bits on the shoulders there, and it's kept the design pretty close to it actually. So I'm very, very happy with how that turned out. So for this next image, I wanted our character to be a detective. So I generated an image of him holding a magnifying glass up to his face. I generated an image of this kind of detective trench coat, which I thought would be a good look for the character. And then I've masked out the area where I want the coat to go. So let's see if the tool can add it onto the character. And it looks awesome. It looks really close to the image I gave it. And then from there you can change the bottom half of the character. And if you want to take these images a step further for your storytelling, you can use a background remover and then place your character into the scene. And here's a few more outfits that I created for my character. So here we have him playing baseball with the pose and the outfit that I generated. And here he is playing basketball. And finally he ends up in space. So there are so many possibilities with changing your character to suit your story needs. 
You can also try adding your own branding to your images as well. And here's a tip. If you're working with quite a detailed image, then make sure to use a close-up of the model in the image and then a good quality picture of your design. And then from there, you take your output and then crop it back into the original image. You may get an error message while using this software. It may ask you to wait a while before you can generate new images. From my experience, I haven't had to wait too long before I can start generating again, but I just thought I'd let you know. Okay, so we've reached the end of this video and I hope you can see how useful this tool is. I believe this tool is more useful than people think it is. Being able to use your unique custom designs and placing it on characters in different poses is incredibly useful. And I will definitely be using it for my storytelling in the future. Please feel free to leave a comment down below with any tips and tricks you want to share with the community. And please feel free to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you would like to see another one of our videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.